Okay, so we are playing Final Odyssey for the Amiga. Well, its full title is Final Odyssey uh, Theasis versus the Minotaur, I believe. So, um, I guess, yeah, this is giving us a workbench startup, which is kind of, I quite like these sort of setups. So, um, I guess we're going to introduction. Um, is it joystick? It is joystick for this bit. Oh, this is Vulcan Software. That's a, that's a surprise. Didn't expect that. Place of vast darkness. Oh well, wow. okay. Uh, what's it say? On board your ship is the annual tribute. Oh, oh dear. Um, okay, I might have to make that 18 rating on YouTube. Probably will. You embark with the victims to kill the monster and finally put an end to something or other. Um, okay. Fireball destroys stuff. I will destroy you, Minotaur. Oh, he calls it Min Yeah, some people say Minotaur. I say Minotaur. I, I don't know. No one has survived the curse of the Labyrinth. Okay, um, that was, what's going on there? It's just, is that the Minotaur close-up? Oh, right, that was the introduction. Um, it would be funny if the main game didn't work. Okay, so, got a crack throw bits. All of that is turned off, which is the way it should be. Okay, this bit again, so same deal. Okay, not too many options here. So fire button to start and F1 to F10, I'm guessing that's like loading a save game. So, okay, fire button begin. Okay, and I am very impressed by the graphics. First impressions, sort of very, very sort of Zelda-esque, if Zelda was very modern, I suppose. A modern Zelda with a crossbow? Okay. Can you actually get hit by that? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, hello. <laughs> That's a, um, what's going on there? Sort of like a mutant, what, did we freeze or something? What? Okay, um, <laughs> things haven't started off as wondrous as I hoped. Ooh. 
Wait. Oh, those are spikes. Oh, okay. It explains why we're taking damage from those, so you got to time those right. Oh, okay, we can't get through that uh, spike pit trap. Well, it's certainly not certainly not starting us off gently, is it? I do like that door with the Minotaur face on there. I'm guessing that's where we came from. Can't go across this bit for some reason. Looks like we can, but uh, yeah, can't cross. Can't cross over there. Quite like the ambient. Well, I don't know. The ambient sort of varies from a faint woman screaming to a sound of a bird. So, okay, sure. Teleporter. Does that shoot in the eye do anything? Oh, wait, did that? No, I thought I removed something. Okay, already I'm stumped. I think we need to... Actually, I'll see if Amiga Life has anything on the like, controls or anything. Can't see anything. Um, okay, I might have to... Check up on the manual then. If, assuming, I'm, I'm assuming there is one. Amiga Final Odyssey. Manual. Okay, it's talking about all the weapons and stuff, but um, no actual controls. Giving us the game features. Here's transformation. Crossbow, plasma rifle, chain gun, fire blaze. Okay, it's got some really good weapons there. Like, is it just uh, running around the fire? Uh, Joel Crow, hello, how's it going? Oh, my goodness. Okay, sorry to hear that. 20, so, um, is that minus 25 Celsius and your car is frozen? Oh, yikes. That does not sound good. I hope... I'm not sure what's going on your end, but I hope you are safe and sound, at least. In the meantime, yeah, I'm, I, I'm, I'm kind of stuck in a sense, but uh, yeah, it's nowhere near as uh, bad as your scenario. Just trying to figure out the, if there's other controls to this game besides the usual joystick ones. But yeah, we're playing Final Odyssey for the first time. I uh, think started off okay, sort of like avoiding arrow traps and dispatched a couple of monsters, but uh, yeah. Didn't take us long before we got stuck. Okay, so that floor tile act activates or deactivates that trap. Mm. 
might have to start spamming keyboard commands. Unless there's an unless there's something else that explains the controls that I'm not aware of. Oh, wait a second. That was a pressure pad. Okay, I'm not sure what that did, but I definitely heard that something happened there. Um, oh, we couldn't cross... Right, we couldn't walk across that bit before. Uh, he who gains wealth gains power. Collect all the money you can find. It may aid you, aid you in your quest. That's an interesting thing to see on a scroll. Normally it's something like great with, with great greed comes great demise or something like that. Ooh, a new section. And yeah, apologies if I suddenly find myself like pausing the game or just like stopping what I'm doing. Still getting over a bit of a cold, over the worst of it, but still coughing now and then. Uh, my advice is this, trust no one. I have been fooled by even the most trusting souls. At least I have worked out these switches. The left switch is the right one. Chef 16, how's it going? Hope all is well. The left switch is the right one, so that then. Maybe I was supposed to figure that out differently, i.e. Um, the left switch is the right one. Yeah, that, I mean, oh, Pompox, hello, how's it going? That could go either way. The left switch is the right one, so it's like the left one is the right meaning correct, but um, yeah, I don't like riddles that can be interpreted multiple ways. Oh, I see. The note also said trust. Oh, okay. So it's referring to the person who wrote the note in. I see. Yeah. I would never survive in real life in these kind of scenarios. Oh, hello. That... Oh, what's going on here? Oh, okay. That... Oh, what the hell? Was that just another... Was that another trap? Oh, no. Don't tell... Oh, let's go... Oh, this is going to be buckets of fun, isn't it? Okay, I hope that's the right... the right thing. Is that going to constantly... that's going to constantly generate knights, isn't it? Um, we'll go down, I'm guessing you go down there to another floor, but we'll explore the bit at the top as well.
Can you actually time this one right? Don't know. Hmm. Doesn't seem like there's a purpose of this, at least not yet. Am I right in guessing that there's no other controls other than the joystick controls? But like, there's no, um, you know, you don't like hit space or enter for anything because I couldn't see anything like that in the manual. That's a very different area. Yeah, um, so far, first impressions. Um, I am quite impressed by this game. Surprised? Again, it's another one of those uh, 1996 games where I think at that time... I don't know, 1996, did I have the PC back then? I think I might have done. But yeah, I'm surprised that this one just completely flew under my radar. Also more so surprised that this is uh yeah, this is done by Vulcan Software, who are of course renowned for their um three um speech only uh graphic adventures. Uh, yeah, the I guess you could refer to them as the Valhalla trilogy. Uh some I know a couple of people like them, but uh well they weren't really my kind of thing. Oh hello. I think OBS was offended that I mentioned the bad Valhalla games. Oh, there we go. Now we're back. We're back. Okay, so what was, uh, what was the point of that? We collected some... Uh, we collected a few coins, and it said, "The more coins that you collect, you collect, um, the more powerful you become, or something like that." So if there's like a pressure pad somewhere.
Oh, do we go up that? Ah, okay. Oh no, we've already been yeah, we've already been here before. Is there anything else to explore in this room? We've pretty much exhausted it. And, uh, yeah, I've already been up here before as well. Just looking at all the, um, lion statues, if, just seeing if any of them are sort of different from one another. Could not one out sort of thing. So if we go through that teleporter again, assuming we can, I don't think, okay, I was trying to open the door in that other room. Right, so if I go up there, that's just cruel. Okay, so we can't go through there. Did we return to that one? Okay, but what next? Go through that, but there's no... Okay, oh, wait, was this... Is that different? Did that... Okay, I noticed a hole in the target, but did that... Is that just a cosmetic thing, or did that do anything else?
So yeah, not sure what the benefit of doing that is. Okay, so it looks like we can sort of bypass the teleports if you just walk between them. Just going to check if these... Uh, was it the one on the right, top right, that teleports you to that area? Area, yes it is. Okay. change there. Oh, did I go through that teleport before? Was that teleporter even there? Oh yeah, sorry. So we've gone through that. I don't know what the purpose was of that. Don't know if there's an item there or not. Just checking to see if there's any like hidden switches. Oh, whoops. Okay, so I need to. Switch again. Okay, so let's draw this out. So it's a three by three grid teleporters. Oh, and there's one at the very bottom as well. Okay, so one, two, three. Okay. So I'm guessing that the other teleporters are kind of just to confuse you. Okay, so one takes us to five. No, beg your pardon, one takes us to eight. But if we take if we go to eight, where will that take us? Takes us back to one. Okay, so they're sort of like connected, I think. Eight to one, one to eight. Uh, number two. Takes us to the middle one. And I'm guessing the middle one will take us back to two. Oh, but you can't... Okay, it doesn't look like you can re-enter the same portal. That's fine. So three takes us to that other place. Four takes us to... Takes us to six. Uh, 
seven. Let's have a look. Seven takes us to nine. And that would mean eight takes us back, hopefully back to one. Okay, that's good. Okay, yeah, so it looks like the teleporters just serve one purpose. Nine takes us to seven. Okay, good. Uh, the only one we haven't tried yet is six, which is that one. And that takes us to four. Okay. Okay, so nothing really radical there. And that will take us to that boulder bit, yeah. Don't really want to refer to a walkthrough just yet, if if at all, to be honest. I wonder why that switch even exists. Okay, so now we're back at that bit. Okay, so there is a way to sort of retrace your steps here. Oh, that, <laughs> that was a nasty surprise. Hello, we have some spikes. Um, I don't think I've been up here. Looks like a message. Oh, here we go. The one who enters shall never leave until death comes calling and the spirit set free. Uh, one who enters shall never leave. Um, what else did it say? Until death comes calling. Until death comes calling and the spirit set free. Okay. Oh, hello. Um. Okay, very cryptic. <laughs> You're here forever. I remember that scene. Kind of a weird thing to actually say, isn't it? I, I know it's just like a spoof, but, um, you know, I'd rather hear that than maybe, like, you're fired. Like, if it's a good job, it's like, oh, okay, sure. And this bit we... That bit we've done before. Oh, whoops. So I was too busy contemplating my next move. Can we go back here? Yeah, this bit, this bit gets me. It looks like you can just walk over this bit fine, but it looks like something invisible is blocking the way.
don't think we've even gone into that room yet, have we? Oh, okay. I could have sworn I went to that teleport already. Um, ooh, this looks, um, oh, oh no, it's a, okay, it's our reflection. It's one of the, okay, so one of these mirrors, what does it, has like a reflection or, okay, they all seem identical. Oh, okay, so more importantly, that uh, pressure pad was crucial. Um... Is there a purpose to these? Is one of them like a secret bit? Okay, I'm guessing if we if we use our crossbow, we're essentially attacking ourselves. But um, yeah, we won't know until we try. Oh, we shattered it. Okay. Not sure if that was the right thing to do or not. Okay, not sure if there was any benefit to doing that or not. Or maybe we had to smash the mirrors in a certain order. Entirely sure. Oh, okay, so we've collected gold. Is that all? Can you do anything else in that area? It did mention that we had to sort of be wealthy that we had to collect coins, but I don't know what's the um don't know what will happen if we collect like X number of coins, if that reveals a hidden passageway or something, don't know. But uh, in any event that's all we can seem to do in that area. That's a shame. I was hoping we'll make um you know we'll be introduced to a bigger area, but uh unfortunately not. Uh, yeah, I know we've been to that room as well, bottom left, that mini room, which had like a pressure pad. Um, it had that weird sort of portrait of an eye. I don't know if, we, I think we tried um, touching that or shooting that and nothing happened, I don't think. And we've been down there before, haven't we? So, yeah, we've we read that. The one who enters shall never, yeah. Um, but I don't think attacking it's going to help either. Nope. Did we, did we shoot the bird? Can we shoot the bird? Is there any purpose of the bird except to just be there?
Um. Okay, we've activated the floor tile once. Let's see if that. Damn it! Changes anything? Oh, it changes that. Okay. Okay, I don't think there's anything else to do around here. That bit was to... Oh, that bit was to the uh, money area, wasn't it? Okay, in the other area, have we been? Oh yeah, of course we've been there. Go back down here, see if anything's been changed. Okay, T to our left, but uh... No way of uh, getting to that area just yet. Keep forgetting about that trap. Okay, and that switch just seals us off but does it reveal another area Looks like beyond that door is either a torch or a lever. Just operate the stairs there. Oh, <laughs> I guess we died. Here's me thinking that we had a life at zero. Game over, press fight. Okay. Yeah, so he who gains wealth gains uh, collect all the money you can find. It may aid you in your quest. So we have picked up a few coins uh, in the game, but uh, probably not enough to like make a 
changed or anything. Whoops. Didn't want to... Oh, actually, no, maybe I did want to do that. I'm not sure if smashing up the windows changed anything. <laughs> this one's kind of devious. Oh, actually, I did. I didn't actually see the um, the little bit of animation of him reading the scroll. That's quite a nice touch. And you can actually um, shoot the target. Although I'm not sure if that does does anything, or it's just another sort of cosmetic thing. I'm not sure if this is uh, connected to anything. Feels like it. It feels like it is. It just seems so. So weird to just like overlook. Like this can't be just for decoration. It's got to be something to do here. Like maybe need to sort of fire the lines in a particular order. really don't know. I think it's going to be one of those solutions that's just going to be just like staring at me right in the face. And I still wouldn't have a clue.
Did I actually do that? Don't actually remember going to that room before. Maybe I did. Okay, so it seems like the sole purpose of going through there was just to collect some money and that was it. Though it did say that accumulating coins would would do something. So there, there is a reason for all of that. So just be, just be a moment. Not sure, maybe that uh, door opens if you collect enough coins? I'll just check if anything's changed in that, uh, that lion place. Doesn't look like. I don't even remember how to open that door. Certainly did it before. Oh, that's it's done like that. Okay.
Yeah. Not gonna lie, this one's a little bit baffling. Spirit sets free. I mean, one who enters. I, I don't know, is there like an area where we're supposed to deliberately die and then we get, I don't know, move to another area? That's the one that gets me, that switch there. Like, it seals you off, but I was just wondering if it did anything else besides just doing that. And then you got the teleporter bit. Okay, yeah, I do... I do realise that, um... We've gone above the hour. Yeah, it's a it's a very uh, fascinating game. I just I'm just not that bright when it comes to some of these uh, puzzle solving. But on the other hand, it could be a very obscure thing as well, or just something silly that I'm overlooking. Okay. Uh yeah, I'd better wrap it up there, but uh yeah, that was a good that was a that was enjoyable. And uh yeah, I <laughs> I apologize for Vulcan Software because I initially thought that most of the games were kind of nice. But then again, yeah, um He'll see, he'll see uh, Lido, and this one, um, yeah, definitely are pretty decent ones. You can tell a lot of uh, effort has gone into it.